Hi, everyone. Uh, we're incredibly happy to introduce Easy Panel to the research community on the University of Chicago uh, campus. Um, Easy Panel is an online platform that essentially design and optimize your panel for flow stamp tree, either traditional or spectral flow. Uh, the CAT facility just got the um, subscription, uh, and so we are making the tool available for free to uh, every one of our users. All you need is a uh, University of Chicago email address, like a BSD, medicine, doesn't really matter. Um, let's have a quick look. So if you go to flow-cytometry.net, uh, you'll get to this page over here. Let's go to build your panel now. Uh, and from here, we are uh, asked to uh, log in. If you don't have your account, select create an account here. And again, just email uh, and your name, uh, email address as to be uh, a University of Chicago. Uh, let me log in. And these panel design, I mean, they, they all look alike. Uh, flow finder and, and pretty much any manufacturers of instruments or uh, reagents now seem to have their own panel design tool. They follow the same steps, um, but Easy Panel does the one thing that uh, puts it on top of pretty much everybody else, in my opinion. Um, so the first step is selecting the right instrument. So we have an account with Easy Panel. So if you click on Select Cytometer, you'll find all the instruments available. Uh, in our facility. So let's assume we're going to do spectral flow using our Aurora 5 lasers. So now we see a list of uh, detectors available on this particular instrument. So click on next. Second step, enter your panel details. So here we're going to introduce all the markers that we want to look at in our panel. We can do it manually by typing in all these uh, different markers. There's a list over here as well. Um, as you enter a specific marker, you select the expression level, the species reactivity, uh, and then you can group your different markers in, um, in, in co-expression or, or biological um, co-expression groups. Uh, if you have a list of, like if you have antibodies already in your fridge and those are the ones you want to use, you can specify a uh, floor four at this point. It gets tedious to do it manually. So we can do two other things to enter your marker. So if you, you can use the um, pre-build um, panel that is in the tool. So here we're simply selecting a species, a uh, cell population, and a specific subset that we want to look at, and then add uh, specific markers. Um, what I want to do now, instead of all of that, is simply ex import uh, an Excel spreadsheet. So it's basically this. Uh, list over here, single column, all my markers in uh, one word, uh, no, none of these, um, you know, uh, only one name per, per, uh, per cell. Uh, we're going to import the list over here and all the markers are automatically entered in the form. In some case, the, there's a, a data database um, on the tool. Basically, it's uh, I believe it's the BD information. Uh, a while back, they did a study of the level of marker, uh, level of expression of main, the, the main markers um, in human. Uh, and so it will recognize uh, these markers and automatically score the expression level. If you don't agree, you can change that uh, after the fact. In some case, you this tool does not re recognize uh, the marker or does not does not have the information, so you can score them yourself. Uh, we only have to choose our species at this point. I'm going to skip ahead. I'm not going to group anybody here. I'm not going to apply a specific uh, flow form, but we have all of our markers entered. So I'm going to simply go to next. Uh, typically, the other tools will ask you now to pair the flow for with the markers, which is tedious, and this is basically the bulk of, of the work. Um, here, all that Easy Panel wants us to do is enter specific requirements that we might have regarding A, our viability die. Uh, so we can either let it decide which is going to the best fit for the panel we are trying to build, or if we have one we really want, we can enter that here. Do not run your panels with viability dice. Don't, don't click on that third option here, please. Excluded flow four, if you have markers you really, really don't like, so Pacific Orange, for example, you can enter that here. Uh, and basically, the um, uh, uh, easy panel will not enter any of these uh, flow four in your panel. 
Okay, click on next and then really rapidly it's going to calculate a pairing of the markers and the flow force uh, that is now available over here. The last column under product, I can click and find uh, a list of manufacturers that will offer these specific uh, products depending on the different clones and so on. Um, at the very bottom, you find your complexity index and total similarity score. So uh, these pairing uh, has been optimized for minimizing the complexity score, meaning with this panel, presumably you'll get the uh, best uh, resolution power to resolve your markers. If you have changes you'd like to see, you can go and uh, customize uh, the panel manually. Uh, otherwise you can export uh, this list over here. And if I go just to show you what it looks like. So this is the file we're going to get and uh, we have our markers the flow of fours and to the right we have um, website links of manufacturers where these products are available the other thing we get is the spectral viewers of the panel we just generated the easy panel recognize the panel we're trying to run here and will suggest additional information so for example um, it thinks we're interested in this uh, characterization of human B cells uh, graph over here. So we can go see uh, if we can find more information online. There's a list of uh, papers that match the panel as well. These are all OMIPS at this point. Uh, so you can click on those and go see uh, if you can find more technical information, presumably about uh, that particular uh, staining. Um, the other thing we can do is submit the feedback about the panel. So if you find that the panel didn't, the, the, the suggestion does not fit uh, your needs at all, uh, write back to the um, team behind this uh, easy panel and they will tweak the algorithm and make it work better. And so over time, the tool will only get uh, better. Lastly, there's a product review link at the top. So. Uh, you'll be able to enter your own reviews of the antibodies that uh, you used. And so over time, as that library of reviews gets uh, bigger and bigger, it becomes more and more useful to uh, the users of this particular uh, easy panel tool. Pretty exciting. Makes the um, panel design incredibly quick and easy. Even if you don't end up with this particular panel that is suggested, it, it does the bulk of the work for you. And so uh, it, it's going to be pretty fun to uh, work with this tool going forward. Let us know if you have any questions. I'll talk to you later.